Scattered Scrapper. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about documenting December. I know lots of people do um, December dailies and um, December occasionallys and things like that and I tried to do that two years ago and failed. <laughs> I did I discovered about myself that I need a little more structure. So I discovered Chamel's class called Journal Your Christmas. And her format is perfect for, for me and my style of scrapbooking. So um, I did that last year and absolutely love how my album turned out. And I was able to kind of stay with it and get it finished and that's one of the big things about um, daily December projects is oftentimes time gets away from you and your project doesn't get finished and then at the end of the season you're kind of not really looking at Christmas anymore you're looking forward to spring and summer and the desire to scrap Christmas goes away <laughs> or at least it does for me I tend to scrap in season um, most of the time. So this year I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do Chamel's Journal Your Christmas. And this album here is a Simple Stories album. It is a six by eight and it is the one I'm going to use for my Journal Your Christmas. And I got this one because it's very thick. It's like an um, inch and a half, two inches. But I know with uh, my my previous um, December album, little documenting album, it was this size. It was another um, older Simple Stories, and it is filled. <laughs> it probably sticks out about like that. <laughs> so I know I like to do things a little chunky, so I wanted to make sure I had plenty of room. So I'm going to use this one, and I think this one is from um, the Simple Stories, one of the, the Christmas Vintage collection from this year. I have the collection, too, that I'm using in another project, but I, um, I'm i going to use the, um, the album for my December Daily type album this year. And... With the Journal Your Christmas, in the class, Jamel gives a, a list of things, but they're not, you don't buy every single thing. You can shop your stash, or you can pick and choose some of the newer items to go with other things in your stash already, and that's kind of what I did. I already decided what Christmas collection that I wanted to use the most, so I went ahead and had purchased it. And one of the things that she had listed was the Vicki Booten Warm Wishes. And I just was, as soon as this collection came out, I knew I had to have it. I just love it. It is gorgeous with traditional colors mixed with some untraditional colors. Look at that teal. Isn't that beautiful? Um, and, of course, it has her um, um, style to it with the distress and the mixed media type things and it's just gorgeous I love it so much look at this little deer how adorable is that <laughs> so I went ahead and had purchased this so I was excited to see that it was on the list of things in Chamel's class that um, she was going to use in addition to this um, six by eight pad I'm also going to bring in simple stories winter cottage and simple stories jingle all the way these are I think from last year they're from last year I believe yeah 2020 um I saw the Christmas collections from them this year and I'm like well I have these and um it's still plenty of these so <laughs> I think I'll hold off because they kind of they kind of remind me of last year's anyway so I'm gonna be using those and then I have pulled in the sticker books for winter cottage and jingle all the way 
Um, and I also have the little stickers um, book. They call it a book. But it's not really. Um, that goes with the um, Warm Wishes from Vicki Booten. Oh, it's just so pretty. I love the little gold foil that's with it. And there's all these little little word stickers and kind of paint swatch looking things. We've got numbers, tabs, and labels. And then, oh, look at these tickets. Oh, it's so cute. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Oh, I can't wait to get to using these. And along with all the other supplies that Chamel has that you can pick and choose, I um, have added way, way, way more stuff because I can't help myself. I have to have plenty of options. So I also have the Warm Wishes, two different um, ephemera packs. And there's going to be um, quite a lot to choose from here. And with Vicki Booten, her ephemera tends to be on the larger side. So that may or may not work out for a 6x8 album. But I've also pulled in the Jingle All The Way. Um, some ephemera. What do they call it? Journal bits. The journal bits. From Simple Stories, I've got Winter Farmhouse, um, bits and pieces that I'm going to use, and the Jingle All the Way bits and pieces. This little Santa Claus is so cute. I just love him. Oh, there he is. You can really see him there. I just, the Santa Claus in this collection is adorable. I love it so much. And then also, I, I forgot to get, is the Winter Cottage bits and pieces. These are just so pretty. This actually reminds me a lot of their um, their fall collection that I've been working with in my Killa Kit. Because there's that same little squirrel, but in this case, he's got some little holly on him. So adorable. The art style is very similar. And that's why I love it so much, because it's so cute. And then I also have some puffy stickers from the Warm Wishes collection, which has got tons, just absolutely tons of little puffy word stickers and these tiny little numbers. That is so cute. I just love these. And hearts and stars and little dots. And then also I have my Jingle All The Way puffy stickers that I'm going to use. And for alphas and things, I probably went a little overboard <laughs> because that's just kind of how I do things. You got to go overboard and I have the warm wishes, puffy word phrases and things. These are so cute. I like the, again, you have the, the gold um, embossing on it. So lots of titles here and fun things. So I'm excited to use those. And then here's the Merry and Bright Chipboard stickers from Warm Wishes. The little deer is so cute. Got all of these and even more little words and words here. These little birds, they're so cute. I can't wait to use these. And then I brought in a bunch of alphas. So I've just got some Ellie Studio in green. These pink fresh. These little words. Our little word, huh? They're wooden. So the top part is just um, raw and then the bottom has got white on it. And these are a whole lot of fun. And then I've got these pink paisley um, wood grains. They have a, I think that's a pink. No, it's kind of like a, a light brown foam. I don't know if y'all can see that, but um, um, I'm going to have those available. And then here's some red Ellie Studio. Um, alphas and some tile alphas. I love tile alphas. And then I have some doodlebug, the teeny type. So you have the um, circles and the tiles and just a little fun scripty font. And then I have this red here. And then I also pulled in this happy life. On this side is navy and I have hardly ever used because for some reason I have a hard time using navy. But we'll see how it goes. I'll probably just use the white. <laughs> but we'll see. It can, it can possibly fit in with my December documenting. 
Um, in addition to that, I also have the Warm Wishes Cut Apart Papers. So this is called Oh What Fun. So lots of fun things to cut apart there. Look at this little mouse, y'all. How adorable is that? So cute. Other side is this really fun mixed media type with the grid, but I got it for, uh oh, for the cut apart side. But look at her branding strip, y'all. This is wonderful. This will, oops, this will be great to use, you know, as a um a border or something. So I like that. Not going to waste. And then the other one is called Hello December, and there's the deer again, and that little mouse. Oh, he's so cute. And a bird. And of course, hot cocoa. And the other side on, of this one is this. This is my most favorite paper in this whole collection, and you know I've got to. Because <laughs> I'm definitely going to be able to use this side and I'm going to be able to use all of these. And then here you have the countdown on the top for the branding strip. That's so fun. But yeah, I'm going to be using both of these for their cut aparts. And then um, I have the enamel dots for Winter Cottage and Jingle All the Way. And then, <laughs> because I am using a 6x8 format, I've got um, a lot of journaling cards. These are from Alex Studio and from Pink Fresh Studio and some printed out and then also simple stories and just some off cuts from things that I went ahead and cut into 3x4 cards. And then here's um, some 4x4 cards. I think these are also simple stories. And then my 4x6 cards. So I've got plenty of those. And I've got some um, die cuts from Ellie Studios um, December documenting kit from last year. So I still have a few more of those left. And of course I had to bring in my most favorite embellishment from last year um, are these little light bulbs and the holly. And I do have some new packages of these, but they are with my other Christmas project that I'm working on. But if I need them, of course, I'm going to get them. <laughs> I will use them anyways. And then, let's see here. I've got some, oh, there's a hair in there. <laughs> I think that's a hair. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, and then I have some of these different cocos and coffees. So cute. And then I have these with the kitty cats. They are so adorable. This one kind of reminds me of our cat. He's kind of gray and white with blue eyes. Adorable. He doesn't have a pink nose, though. He's got a black nose. And then I have these little stickers. And I just kind of, kind of use these like enamel dots. I just kind of sprinkle them around my pages. Same with these. I just got these from Hobby Lobby last year. And then I have some houses and look at little ice skaters. These you can use at Christmas time or even just for winter. And then I have some more bigger mugs. Let it snow. Baby, it's cold outside. So cute. And then I've got some little word stickers. So these are Oh Holy Night phrase stickers. They, are, um, they have um, song lyrics from Christmas carols. And they're more towards the um, the Christian side of things because we are celebrating Jesus's birth at Christmas time. And then here's some joyful stickers, and I've about used them all, so maybe I can get it all used up this year. I think I used even more of these. These are the from the document December stickers um, collection. Yep, last year, and then some label dates or date labels from last year. And these little Christmas cookie stickers, I didn't use all of them, so I'll have some to be able to use again this year. Hopefully my mother-in-law will be having the cookie decorating again this year. I know my kids always love to do that. And then I've got some tiny shapes and dots with these stars, hearts, and little dots. So I have some more of those I can use. And then I found this at Joanne's 
yesterday. So I'm going to be putting this in there too, the um, Tim Holtz sticker book for Christmas. And there's lots of little word stickers and some labels. Look at these. These remind me so much of my grandparents. They're so pretty. And then some more. I like this little wreath and little Santa Claus. He's so cute. I like those, so I'll be using that. And then the last little bit that I have picked out is some um, wood veneer. So this is from Ellie Studio. It's Fa La La's. And then some <clears throat> Christmas cookies and little tabs and presents and things. And some more little tabs um, and banners. And then some more banners with Merry Christmas, December, and photos. Oh, what fun. Of course, we're gathered together. We can use that one even with pictures we just took for Thanksgiving. And then here's the Christmas tree and some other little things underneath it. And then I have some acrylics with trees and stars. And then these little candy canes from Hobby Lobby. And, of course, I have all of my Christmas stuff on the floor around me because I'm hoping to do lots and lots of layouts um, this December for Christmas. I don't plan on doing a killer kit for December because I am going to be focusing on the journal your Christmas so that that's going to take up a lot of my time and also, I have my Christmas gift that I am working on, so there's that. But I, I do hope to get in a little bit more in addition to all of this, so do stay tuned. And since this is a class, the thing about her class is you buy it once and you have all the years before it and you have all the years after it. So you buy it one time and then you can use it Um forever <laughs> so that's that is really a great value i think because she has um posted all of her classes back until i think maybe 2013 or 2014 and then you can still move forward along and you don't have to buy it again so i think that's such a great thing um i'm not sponsored or anything i just really really love the the class because it helps me get focused and know what i want to do and it's flexible, so if I don't want to do any of the prompts or whatever for that day, I can add in my own thing that's going on. And that just really helps me to stay focused. Because um, apparently I'm way too scattered. <laughs> way too scattered. Um, hence the name of my YouTube channel. To be able to stick with it without a little, little bit of, of guidance. This go this way. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you will join me for all that's going on in December. And I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving um, if you celebrated. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>